Let's master English. Adverbs of place unlocked. Hello, learners. Welcome back to our English Grammar Fundamentals series. Today, we're diving deep into the world of adverbs and focusing on a special category, adverbs of place. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to confidently identify and use these adverbs in your daily conversations. Adverbs, as you might already know, are words that modify or describe verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. They tell us how, when, where, or to what extent something happens. But what about adverbs of place specifically? Well, as the name suggests, these adverbs answer the question, where? They tell us about the location or direction related to the action of the verb. For example, in the sentence, she looked upward, the word, upward, is an adverb of place that tells us where she looked. Now that we know what adverbs of place are, let's look at some common examples. Words like here, there, near, somewhere, outside, downstairs, everywhere, abroad, upward, downward and inside are all adverbs of place. For instance, consider these sentences. Let's go outside. He lives abroad. I left my keys somewhere. They are sitting downstairs. In each case, the adverb of place gives us more information about the location of the action. Now, where do we place these adverbs in a sentence? Generally, adverbs of place are placed at the end of a sentence or clause. However, they can occasionally appear at the beginning for emphasis or stylistic reasons. Here are some examples. I am going abroad. Standard position at the end. Upstairs, the music was playing. For emphasis at the beginning. And there you have it. We've explored the ins and outs of adverbs of place. They are quite straightforward and, with a bit of practice, you'll master them in no time. So, next time you're talking about where something is happening, don't forget to use your adverbs of place. Keep practicing and remember, the key to mastering a new language is consistency. Stay tuned for our next video where we will continue unraveling the mysteries of English grammar. Happy learning, everyone!